Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Todd. We are having a great time here at the APL. It's a, a beautiful day to be here. I <laughs> know it's beautiful outside, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, today would have been uh, the actress Betty White's 100th birthday. Um, and there's a national movement going on. Betty was a huge advocate for animals. And everyone, uh, the movement, people are asking everyone to donate to your local uh, animal shelters. And we're here at the APL with Sharon, who braved the weather and made it. And who do we have here, Sharon? This is Christine. She's about a year old, and mm -hmm. she came in through our Humane Investigators. She was about as skinny as a dog could have been and, yeah. and still been alive. Um, she has gained about 12 pounds Good in the last her. two weeks okay. since she's been with us. But you can see she's still really skinny. Mm -hmm. And she has, she does, I don't know if she's doing it right now. No, she does a little it. submissive grin. So yeah. when she shows her teeth, she's not being mean. She's just smiling at you. Just and smiling. Yeah. Yeah, she's well, she's cutie. enjoying herself. And interesting, when we were at the telethon, you were saying, you have to be very careful and strategic uh, when we're trying to put weight back on the animals. Explain that to when us. When they come in that critically thin, you, we can't just fill them back up with food. We have to do it very gradually because their mm -hmm. system just hasn't been used to eating. Okay. So it's, it's a gradual process and she has done really well. She yeah. has not required um, any truly specialized treatment. Mm -hmm. So. But, and she came in through our Humane Investigations team, and they do the Humane Law Enforcement in Cuyahoga County, and that work is also funded by donations okay. completely. Wow, and we, you wanted to switch and show us this lobby. This is one of the new lobbies, part of the additions that you guys have, correct? Yeah, we now have two front of the buildings, okay. really. This is, this is, we call this our West Lobby, and it is in the back of the building, and mm -hmm. this is our Animal Resource Center where this is where people will bring animals to surrender them, mm -hmm. where fosters will come in to pick up and, and or return animals, where people who are using, um, it's not open yet, but in a couple of months, we're working on opening a new low cost clinic mm -hmm. for Cleveland residents, um, income qualified Cleveland residents. And that's where all of that is going to be happening. And what's important is people see these, um, uh, the improvements you guys made in, in the expansion, and that's great, but still, to, to get all this, it's still you need donations throughout the year to make sure all of this works correctly, correct? Well, we're now even going to need even more donations, quite frankly, because we've elevated the, the level of care and our number of programs even beyond where we were before. So it's going to be even a little bit more expensive. Opening this clinic is not going to be a... Um, an, an easy endeavor from a financial standpoint because we're going to be subsidizing a lot okay. of that care. Wow, you guys have your qualify. hands full uh, with beautiful animals like uh, this beautiful little dog. Does she want to treat there? She is. Oh, we're at the APL uh, celebrating be what would have been Betty White's 100th birthday, a uh, national movement to donate to um, animal shelters all across the United States. It just so happens we're here at the APL. We have a great relationship with you guys because of the telethon. But donate to any animal shelter that will work too. All right, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio because somebody wants a little dog treat down <laughs> of here. Of course. <laughs> been good this whole time. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a cookie. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I want a treat. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs>